So, hey guys, welcome to Comic Game. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Good job. We have cookies. And milk. Might be semen, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon, where all geek culture collide. This week, I am reviewing the 1993 Alien vs. Predator 2-pack action figures. So, let's go ahead and jump right in. First off, we are going to go ahead and move the Predator aside and take a look at the Alien. The Alien vs. Predator figures were to capitalize on the fact that Alien 3 had just come out and people were looking for, you know... Um, products, of course, to shoot to kids, and some reason they thought killer aliens with acid for blood was a good idea. So, um, first off, let's go ahead and take a look at the sculpt and paint job on this guy. The sculpt and paint job on this guy is pretty cool. Uh, it's very, like, uh, gunmetal black. Uh, love the way they got the uh, skull here. This is not removable. The mouth is not open like a lot of them. There's no action features really to these this, to these figures in the two pack. Um, they're just your basic figure. So in the detail, that was really cool. It really captures the uh, job of the figures. You got the veins here, the pipes. Uh, these two do kind of wiggle a little bit, but. So appearance wise, not too bad. Let's go ahead and go over articulation. Articulation on these are your standard. You got the head that moves from left to right. Uh, there is some issue. The back does kind of hit these a bit, but it doesn't cause too big of a problem. There is no ball joint, so it does just go left to right. The arms, again, they just go up and down. The legs, also up and down so you can pose them. The cool thing is he does have a tail. And it does move from left to right. Uh, if you want to pose them properly for an attack, you can do that. But it kind of sometimes makes the figure a little difficult to stand. But you can use that as kind of an attack to attack the predator. Speaking of the predator, and again, no problem standing once you find that right pose. Alright, so next up in this Alien vs. Predator 2 pack, of course, it wouldn't be complete without the Predator. Um, now, the Alien, which came with no accessories. Uh, the Predator, however, completely different. It came with a couple of accessories. One I'm missing is the mask. And uh, I believe he also came with a blaster. Uh, the only thing I have that he came with right now is this little um, bladed staff, almost like a uh, bat lift from Star Trek. Um, so we'll put that aside, and I'll go over this because there's some issues I have with this Predator, and this kind of helps. So uh, it is your basic um, Predator figure. I mean, he has no action features. Uh, the paint job on this is very plain in my view. Um, then there's some shading and uh, you get a good look at his dreadlocks but there's you know, no details on the backpack. It could have been some, maybe some red here or something to indicate blinking dot lights. Um, he does have his loincloth which is going to get in the way of some articulation. Uh, but I, for the basic figure with no special feature, you know, no action features, it's it's not too bad. It's okay. Um, we'll go over are the articulation here. His head um, moves from side to side barely. His pack really gets in the way. Uh, his dreads also. So you're not going to get a lot 
of head movement here. His arms do go up and down. This one, you're not going to get a whole lot because, again, this pack, which is not removable, is in the way. It's part of the sculpt. His legs also, his loincloth, part of the sculpt. So you're not going to get a full forward and backwards on this guy. Which brings me to an issue. He's not going to stand. His backpack is way too heavy uh, for this figure. You can give him this lunge a bit, but his foot seems to be warped. And I don't know if it's just with this figure, um, but yeah, he's not wanting to stand up. I was using his weapon, his accessory, as a cane to help stand him up. Uh, see if I can get him to do it again. There we go. And with that, if you can turn his head a bit, I guess it kind of looks like he might be pulling on his cane. I don't know. Uh, but how his cane is supposed to work is you're supposed to be able to fit it in his hand, just like so. And so it looks like he's battling the alien. Now, the cool thing about this is there's a little peg here. <coughs> and on the back of his backpack, there's a peg hole. So you can take this and plug it right in, just like so. and he can carry it on his back. Unfortunately, again, without that in his hand, you're not going to get him to stand. So, um, I've seen better alien and predator figures out there, um, such as the scorpion alien and the bull alien, the grill alien. Um, so, they're there are some better figures out there. But if you just want simplistic, you want the basic alien figure, or just a basic predator figure, go online. Uh, Amazon might have them. eBay might, I'm sure, has them. It's a two pack Alien vs. Predator uh, from Kenner. So when Kenner was still around. And I'm not exactly sure on the price of these. These were brought into the store. So, um, as like a trade. Um, but check them out. Um, if you're looking to complete your set, you need these two. Uh, so, yeah. Happy hunting! <laughs>